Well, hello everyone. So, quite a big jump in time since the last video. I don't even know, it's been too long, let's just put it that way. And, uh, so I've been down here grinding away on the dump trailer, you guys will already know from the video. I don't know, at this point, I don't know how many more parts, uh, at least two more parts, possibly three. Uh, we'll just see, kinda see how it goes, but. Anyhow, I have been doing a lot of work the past uh, few days, and Ethan's been over to help me for a day and help me get stuff knocked out. So I got a lot to catch you guys up on. Like I said, a lot's happened since the last uh, whatever whatever video clip was before this. So let me just kind of walk around and kind of catch you guys up to up to date on what's done, what we got to do yet. Okay, so where I think I left off was uh, this up here. I was building this toolbox last, I, th I believe. I honestly don't even remember. But anyhow, I got a lid built, but I built it backwards, meaning this side was supposed to be on the underside. So it doesn't fit uh, quite right because I, I laid it up here, traced underneath of it, cut it out, and then I weld this on the wrong side. But it's not too bad, but I just got to do a little bit of modifications to the lid to, to make that right. Um, nothing really to that there uh added on some chains i made these hangers here just used a torch heating them up made a little bend in them nothing special there um <clears throat> so moving back we ethan and i we've got pretty much everything ground down like we're gonna get um most everything's ground down As you can see here like uh we put the round stock in the fenders just to now grind it smooth um everywhere else where where it needs to be uh, underneath. I don't remember if I got this on video, but I got a little track here for the uh, hydraulic lines to, to lay in, and they go back to the pump there. Um, let's see. Got some extra bracing here over the, each of the uh, leaf spring perches, all the way back there on each side. Underneath is pretty much completely welded out. Um, I could weld a little bit more, but it's not really necessary. It's got enough weld on it. Um, <clears throat> just like that so everything here is all done the tailgate is kind of uh, what I've been spending the most time on trying to get it figured out how I want to do it and whatnot um, it's taking some time and just kind of looking through some ideas and and whatnot so this will be like a double function tailgate um, one as you can see we got hinges here it will swing around totally kind of fold back on itself but it will also um, it will hinge from the top here and open up like kind of like a dump truck, like a standard. Um, I don't know what, you, what I don't know the technical term for it, but it'll flip up from the top and dump that way. Um, so it's it's kind of I don't know it's it's kind of hard to, to do. This is something I've never done. I've never built a dump trailer. Um, I've built many trailers before, just never never something multi-use if you want to if you want to say that. So it's just taking some time to figure out, but. We'll come back to this in a second. So, my problem originally that I was going to build this, um, it was going to be like this, meaning 
uh, just used to be a standard swing out kind of tailgate, but because because it doesn't um, like it can't fold back on itself very far. Number one, the hinges don't allow it. Um, kind of like how I have it built. Um, I don't know. I kind of I kind of messed up. Not a lot. Not really. But it doesn't come much past. Like if it swings all the way around, it doesn't come much past um, parallel with the, with the backside here. So it might come back over, you know, five ten degrees. But it's not a, not really enough. I I wanted it to swing back further over here. That way it would just be you could use a tailgate, be done with that. But since that's not the case, um, we're gonna. This is obviously the tailgate right here built. Um, it'll go in here. It'll hinge from the top. And my friend who's getting this, about probably 90% of what he's going to use it for is just kind of maybe some fill dirt, some uh, some soil, compost soil, and uh, you know mulch or just miscellaneous stuff. So he'll be, he'll be using the the actual dump feature or the um, you know the flip gate more more so than than opening the whole thing up. But if he needs to load a pallet of something in here or whatever, he has the um, option to open it up. So. So this is real kind of basic, but kind of simple at the same time. Just have a, this is a piece of seven eighths, seven eighths inch round, goes all the way down the bottom. And so it's kind of like a, like a tension sort of deal. So you push in on this, pull out the pin, pull this handle back, and then the gate will swing freely. And then the close obviously the, uh, the adverse. So it's real, it's real basic, real simple, um, and it should work. Now the only thing I'm I'm uh, I'm kind of struggling with right now, I'm not really struggling. I just got to think about it. Is how I want to to latch the the bottom, like how I want to keep the bottom held in. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of what I've been working on. I had to go get some uh, material and whatnot to kind of finish this up. I'm still waiting on some parts, so it's kind of it is what it is right now. But and yeah, I got a couple hinges, uh, some greasable hinges. We're gonna put three on this top run here, excuse me, and put those on and then we'll try to start figuring out um, this down here. So this this here I had to cut out when I, I built the other side, came over here and realized this might interfere. So I had to uh, trim this out a little bit so it doesn't interfere when it opens up. So anyhow, that's that. But let's get started on doing something. Got to put the uh, put the dump back down so I can make this easier to work on. But I'm gonna stick this tailgate in here, hold it up there, weld on these hinges, and then we'll go from there figuring out the rest of it. But plan is to get this thing done as soon as possible. That is uh, that is the goal, and hopefully here, I don't know, maybe in the next week it'll be done. Um, videos might take a little longer to get out, but that's my uh, that's my plan. So let's get to work.
right, so here's the deal. Um, it's about to rain, if you uh, can't tell. And anyhow, we have this random pile of dirt over here, and uh, I have a hole that needs filled down in my place. And so we're gonna fill it up, see if it actually even dumps. That's that's the whole goal of this. Uh, but it's about to rain, so I don't really don't want the trailer to get wet. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to uh, fill it up, and then we'll see what happens. See if it works. Here's what I came up with for the um, kind of the the back latch tailgate, if you will. I don't really know what to call it, but anyhow, um, super simple. Just got a pin down through here, so you pull the pin out. And then that's how that works. And then close it, obviously the adverse. Try to do this one-handed. So anyhow, it's um I was I was kicking on it earlier, meaning I was on the inside trying to kick it out, and it, it didn't really seem like there was hardly any any force on it. So I think that'll work out good. Um but yeah, the only so there's not much left to do i still gotta um i still gotta weld the hinges on to this box here i just made some um so when we get back i'll weld them on made the spare tire carrier originally as you saw i was gonna put it over here but with this being here it just stuck out way too far uh so anyhow that's that's what i did there so yeah let's fill this thing up and let's go see if the thing will even actually dump this is a reminder so that I know I still got to make something to whenever this here comes around um, when the door actually swings open that uh, it can latch back here. So that's my reminder right there if you were uh, wondering. Alright, so load her up. I honestly don't know if this is like way too much dirt or if this is, I, I honestly have no idea. I have very little experience with dump trailers as far as using them uh, all the way around actually. So anyhow, if you guys can see, um, <clears throat> my truck, my truck is not really, alright, so I have a two and a half inch, um, spacer in the front of my truck and it already squats obviously from the weight in the rear it's it's squatting a little bit but really not a lot um so yeah just obviously if we had more dirt in the front then it would squat it more just it's common sense but to those that were kind of eh, the the axles are too far back anyhow this is how it looks my truck's already got a bunch of weight on it yeah it's squatting a little bit but what truck does it when you got a when you got a big trailer behind it. So anyhow, let's see if this thing even dumps. Well, I would call that a success. Um, it really didn't, I mean, it it obviously had a load on it, but it didn't hesitate hesitate too much. So uh, I think it could have had, had a lot more in it. Not a lot more, but it could have had more in it for sure. But uh, I don't know, what is that? Three yards, maybe, four yards? I don't, I don't really know, honestly. But anyhow, it handled it just fine and yeah so let's let's go finish up we need to finish up um a few things we got to do on all we all we really have to do um the lights are going down here on the bottom i'm just gonna have a couple ovals so two on this side two on that side um probably gonna put the tag in the middle here uh box it in so it's strong because it doesn't i don't know it might i'm not sure where i want to put that yet i was thinking about putting it on the side but who knows we'll see um so yeah we gotta do that gotta finish up the toolbox 
like I said, I got the hinges uh, made. I just made those. So we got to put them on. We'll need a, uh, a handle, some kind of something to support it open. And then we'll have to kind of finish up doing what we got to do in here. And then that should be it. As far as that, run a bunch. We're going to underneath, we're going to make sure we run uh, kind of stuff to prep for our wiring. Make sure that we have ample places to, to put it all. Well, that's all we're doing for now. Um, so one little issue, when I first built this, I thought I had plenty of room um, between here and here, but to my uh, expertise, not really. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna have to notch, I'm gonna have to notch these out a little bit, take them back maybe half an inch, because uh, it interferes the door. The door comes up maybe on a 45, but it's not, I like it to be more so anyhow i'm gonna have to fix my boob i'm just gonna cut here cut down and just kind of a little bit of a notch maybe maybe even just a slight angle or something um but anyhow that's all we're doing for tonight um not too much left uh i'll probably roll the remaining fab and the uh and the paint in the next video so be looking forward to see uh see some of that i guess Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we can get to have more regular videos. Um, we should be able to, so maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But anyhow, thanks for watching, everyone. See you all in the next one.